Oh, hello. This is Tak Chung from Walk with Tak. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and share. Uh, please feel free to write me at walkwithtak at gmail.com for any question regarding this video or any other video that I have posted. It's easier for me to reply to you more thoroughly through email, and I will reply your question promptly. Now, Becky came home late one night from her work. She was tired and hungry, but she did not want to have fast food, take out, or ultra processed food. Uh, she wanted to cook a dish from scratch using fresh ingredients, uh, so that she knows what she puts into her body. However, she also wants something quick, in five minutes or less, perhaps, and she thought about a scramblet. Now, scramblet is a simple, efficient, but delicious egg stir fry dish. It is quick, simple to make, a blend between scrambled egg and an egg omelette. It has simplicity of scrambled eggs, but the characteristics of egg omelettes. When time is short and hunger demands instant gratification, this dish is perfect in meeting the situation. Now, stir frying has the advantage of cooking under high heat without burning the food ingredients. Through constant st stirring, uh, food can be cooked quickly to properly maintain its doneness and texture. No other cooking techniques provide the speed and control that can match stir frying. Uh, this is a go to dish for Becky when she has only 10 minutes to cook a meal, uh, to prepare this dish when she needs something quickly yet delicious. Uh, she always has some egg in her refrigerator and bags of frozen vegetable mix for freeze in her freezer. And for carbohydrates, uh, she has some cooked rice that she can microwave in 45 seconds. Now, cooking this dish takes only one minute of preparation. It is faster to get ready uh, than putting a frozen pizza into the oven. However, it is more def delicious and definitely healthier. Uh, besides, there are endless opportunities to modify this dish uh, because it is a template ready for making changes and adjustments uh, using different ingredients and seasoning strategies. Uh, in this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to cook this scrambled dish uh, in its simplest form. A wok is a perfect cooking utensil for cooking this dish, but a frying pan will also do the job, except the wok is more suitable and make the cooking more efficient and fun. A prepping for this dish could not be simpler. I use six eggs to cook this dish. I season the eggs with the wok with tart basic seasoning mix uh, to the eggs more savory. The seasoning mix uh, is mild to intense to enhance the natural flavor of any food ingredient. Uh, it is particularly good with eggs. Uh, you can purchase this on Amazon and give it a try. Uh, I have the link below the video. Now, frozen vegetables go very well with this scrambled dish. It adds great flavor and texture to the dish. The best frozen vegetable to use uh, is a frozen vegetable mix with peas, corn, carrots, and green beans. Uh, they are inexpensive and versatile and can use in many different dishes. Uh, always keep some available in your freezer for situations like this one because they can go into directly from freezer into the wok. Very convenient. I use my Cuisine 14 inch stainless steel wok to cook this dish. Uh, this wok is frequently also known as a wok pan. It is a very versatile wok. It is my everyday wok uh, because I can use this wok for other type of cooking function in addition to use it for stir frying. Uh, you can take a look at this video uh, on a review of this wok. After heating up the wok, I add 2 tablespoons of canola oil. I choose this oil for its neutral flavor, high smoking point, and economical pricing. Any oil with a high smoking point will meet the requirements for stir frying. And the spot seasoning method is simple and efficient to create a non-stick cooked surface, and it takes only about 15 seconds, and it works every time. It is applicable for carbon steel, cast iron, and stainless steel wok. Uh, you can see here how it works with a stainless steel wok. Uh, once the oil starts to smoke, turn down the heat and let it to smoke gently uh, for about 15 seconds. 
Now this is a time when the wok is being seasoned uh, to create a non-stick cook surface. Simple and straightforward. And you can take a look at this video for more information. As soon as the eggs are added to the wok, uh, turn the heat back to high to maximize the cooking speed. Uh, fry the eggs for about 15 seconds. Notice that the edges of the egg are first cooked. To facilitate the cooking speed, uh, push the cooked egg from the edge towards the center. This will open up the space in the surface of the wall so that the uncooked egg will flow into this space. This will make the eggs cook faster. By constantly moving the eggs around, uh, they will be cooked evenly without getting burned under high heat. This is the advantage of stir frying uh, by cooking food fast uh, through constant stirring. And next, add the frozen vegetable to the wok over the egg. Uh, it is not necessary to thaw them as they will warm up in the wok gradually. Uh, this has a greater tendency to maintain their texture, prevent them from uh, overcooking. Uh, to create an omelette like texture, use the wok spatula to throw the egg over the frozen vegetables, uh, using a gentle action in folding the cooked eggs to avoid scrambling them. A few quick mix, the dish is done, and the cook time is under 4 minutes. Many possibilities to garnish this dish depend on how the dish is going to be served. Uh, for this instance, Becky's like to serve it with rice, so she uh, used a combination of soy sauce and oyster sauce, and that seems to work best for her. However, there are many possibilities, from a chili sauce to a cheese sauce, and this is a good place uh, to create a unique flavor uh, that you like. Well, you might find yourself in a situation like Becky's, needing a home-cooked meal in the place of fast food takeout or ultra-processed food. Now this dish might fit the bill. I'll give it a try and incorporate this simple dish into your repertoire. I post a video each day to help you to make home cooking as part of your daily routine. Uh, if you'd like to learn more about my fast cooking system, uh, you can subscribe to this YouTube channel. So keep on cooking! I will see you tomorrow.